This is permadeath, guys. I. You actually see him at the window? Good evening. Oh, are you in, buddy? Listen, you go ahead and do your little closet dance thing, whatever you do, Tanner. I'm over it, okay? I'm four out of five cases down. I'm seeing that dude picking my locks. Tanner's in my house. This couldn't get much worse. <gasps> this could be it. I'm holding out. Yay! <laughs> Did you really think I was going to accept this? Yeah, we're back for more. Did you really think I was about to leave it on that type of ending, guys? <laughs> Come on right now, we're back out of this! <sighs> okay, look at this man on our home screen. Clean cut on the outside, but disgusted on the inside. We already know you lost your teeth when you was about eight years old, Tanner. Those dentures you got stuck in ain't fooling no one. This smug dude's about to go down. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Scrutinized. Woo-wee! I have not seen a response like that before, man. Like, I actually cannot believe this, and I'm being serious. The last episode is sitting at 63 thousand likes <laughs> you guys are amazing and thank you so much for the support through the series this is why we're coming back to normal mode like if the support wasn't there there ain't no chance i'm even thinking about this i'm gonna be attempting normal mode guys you already know i'm going for that actual ending for this game because i really want that under the belt however there's gonna have to be some changes to the way that i play normal mode because instead of five nights guys we have ten and it's permadeath guys i'm talking you end up dying <laughs> you're out of this world sucker but I'm actually just under the chair, so it's okay. There is no way I'm going to be able to sit down and read the notes in between each of the cases, guys. I've really got to focus on, like, getting rid of the ones which are trash and also finding the evidence as quick as I can to get through the nights. However, I've had just about enough of staring at Tanner's ugly-looking mug on my home screen, okay? We're getting straight into this with that new game, and if you want the next part... How about we get 50k? And so the nightmare begins again, I guys. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Yep, you probably should. It's night one, guys. Let's get this started. So, the usual we go with this place we make sure the lights are on and then we just lock up those windows and basically get cracking with those cases man now i do actually have a small amount of faith in regards to making some form of progression for at least this episode here i've spent a long time on the uh, casual mode and i know roughly all of tanner's like light flashing spots i know really where to catch him off guard you know the dude who comes through the windows though he wasn't oh, so much of a problem yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. What the freak is a bolo? Yeah, I don't know when Tanner exactly becomes active, but I assume it's going to be fairly quickly. So there's a new thing I'm going to try for this one more specifically, guys. I'll show you in just a sec. Now, I'm only going to keep these four tabs open. For the most part, that's all you need when it comes to evidence. So let's see, Henry Madsen. I was talking with the neighbor's boy, Jonas, yesterday. I noticed some bruises on his arms and legs when I asked him about it. He said that he was just clumsy. I've been quiet about this for far too long. In case this guy is half a piece of crap, I suspect him of being. I want this looked into. So this is in regards to to, I suppose it's looking into maybe I'm hurting his son or something like that. This is how I'm gonna have to be with this, guys. We'd be short, we'd be brief, and we'd just be nice and concise when it comes to finding the information we need. I'm also not gonna use the age parameter, we'll just use male, and then he's got brown hair and also green eyes, and we'll find it this way. Henry Madsen, so we found the dude already. We can get rid of that. Ah, dude, it sucks not having, like, the ability to, like, insta-crack, you know? I gotta do this all manually, but let's do it. Hopefully there's some evidence on his phone. We have to find at least two pieces, so let's crack this. Okay, whereabouts are we looking? Right there. So history, beer, how do you bury a body? Uh, burying an animal corpse on top of... Okay. Um, well, already this guy is very Ooh. suspect, right? So it's just three. So I'm going to put bury a body. Wait, hold up. Burying an animal corpse on top? Yeah, okay, bud. You can go ahead and get searched. Henry, what the freaking names? I don't even care. Dude is strange as freak, man. We got uh, Claire McNeil. She was innocent. Let's check these real quick. Okay, Tanner's actually taking it fairly easy. Let's look at the next case. Jim Knobwood. That's a really unfortunate name, Jim. All right, where's Mr. Knobwood at? Uh, <laughs> recently, my neighborhood weirdo started up a yard sale. He had some interesting stuff out. Vintage vinyl, old comic books, and ratty clothes. The clothes had a nasty smell to them, as if 10 people had urinated on them at once. Uh, he tried to sound with them. Third, the original price. Stuff like that just needs to be burned, which got me thinking, why did he leave cl have clothes like that in the first place? Homeless percentages in state. Way to get homeless people. Jobs. I don't care that some people are less fortunate. Okay, so this dude's... Whoa, this is trash. Look at that one. Hey, man, you want to go home... I don't even have to read past the first text, guys. So I'm going to put that one in. And let's check his pictures, first of all. Lots of pictures of, like... Um, he's like a fascination with them or something. What the heck? I think the search history one, uh, about old people taking up space is probably good. Let's page that. Take a look. That is good. So we'll check the cameras real quick. 
Tan is still not really that bothered, it seems like, this night. Let's check around the house. Then we'll page the final one, and then we'll just continue on, guys. Um, I think I'm being a bit too cautious, though, for night one. Like, maybe I don't gotta do this, and I just can kind of, like, fly through the night. It's strange, though, dude. You truly don't get when someone's trying to break into your house, and I don't wanna risk too much, you know? Okay, guys. Finished up the night. Got the last one all done. Now, I didn't check the window, so I'm a bit... Okay, we're good. We got the save point. So we're on to night two now. Okay, steady progression. And I can already hear. How much air do I really need in this house, though, dude? I'm a single person living here. Yeah, I got windows open in all four of the bedrooms. What the freak? I wonder if Tanner's more aggressive on this night. Uh, I assume he would be. It was kind of chill, though. Like, if they're like that for the rest of this, we can actually get something flowing here, guys. So, Adam, please patch it to be that way. I want an easy win. My first case is a shred. Night two is seven different people. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, Rosanna, has been sending me crazy text messages, voicemails, driving past my house, yelling things out the window. Tried going to her about a police restraining order. If the police can't help me, I'll report this myself. Okay, so maybe she's being a bit obsessive. Like, this is how quick we got to read through this, guys, if I want to try and progress. I don't entirely know what I'm looking for, so I'll at least get her ID and then we'll try and work the rest out from there. I think I, I might have had a light go out, guys. Maybe? I'm kind of concerned. Hold up. We'll crack this, and then I'm going to check. Why am I doing that, bro? Crack the phone. Good. Let's check. Oh, boy. I probably should have checked for Tana, too. Maybe I should do that before I even think about going around the house. You active tonight, bud? You're still taking it kind of easy. Might genuinely be kicking it, guys. Go ahead. Maybe he got the crap ending too last time. Maybe he knows how it feels. Searching is, let's just take a quick read through. How to kill your ex-boyfriend, so we go for that one straight away. Most intimate ways to murder. These are all fairly guilty as far as I'm concerned. Let's go, it, would that one count? Like she's all about kidnapping this dude. Let me page that. If this is wrong, we got questions about this police force. Thank goodness. Ooh, when the frick did this light go out though? I was not paying attention. Let's take a look. The window is still locked up, thank goodness. So. That was a chance for the uh, kidnapper to actually try and break in. He didn't get the window. Talking of windows, a second one? Let me just check, guys. This is night two. Still locked up. I'm checking that third bedroom. You know, it could be that for the casual mode, it was Tanner who was like the main aggro. Maybe the kidnapper's gonna be much more like- ah! Case four. Okay, just finished up the case. It was Larry Jackson. Uh, we looked at that one before. It was about the guy who, like, does strange things to younger people. And his searches were like, have young people ever, like, you know, committed from, you know, being bullied and stuff like that? So Larry is an instigator in terms of trying to make people feel bad and trying to make them do pretty bad things, guys. So we took care of him. We're yet to make a mistake. We're actually doing pretty well. And we have to be definitely more conscious of Tanner now. I'm going to pick up some upgrades, too. I'm actually going to buy four of these. I feel like cracking the phone is the best way to get through these notes as quick as we can. Okay, Anthony Hawks is shred. Uh, we have an unknown. I was walking home from work when I saw a man come out of the alleyway near the butcher shop. He was alone and had some dark stains in his shirt. He was one uh, on the phone with someone, but was very quiet about what he was saying. Eyed me and walked off quickly. Okay, so that's maybe of concern. What was he doing in the butcher? That's what we have to maybe investigate. Okay, guys, so we have a Mr. Hindman. And let's see if we can... Okay, well, there's a... <laughs> that was pretty simple. Text convos, client, and supplier. Do you offer pet sitting? I do. Cash, want them gone. Okay, so pet sitting sounds like some kind of slang term for person, not animal. Yeah, this guy is just guilty. Both of those are really strange guys. We'll do one last check. Okay, no Tana. Let's page this one and we'll get this done. I did check around the house before I paged it. So if a light went off, I think we're in trouble. Let's see. We're good. We see that checkpoint night three already. So this is actually really good progress so far. Nice. I hope you guys aren't minding this style of playing the game. It's really the only way I can get this done whilst also having the chance to really focus on the cases. It's not so much uh, reading through the cases anymore. It's more just having to breeze through them. Think about what these people are probably thinking when they're doing the stuff they are or what the people are doing to even report them in the first place. And then just having to use a little bit of initiative and cut a few corners while still playing it somewhat safe. All right, we got the whole house locked up, guys. So the night really begins. So let's get this started. Uh, I'm gonna buy quite a few of the Insta Root Crack upgrades. And also, it's nice to see that there's still only seven we've got to do right there. Perfect. That's two shreds to start the night. Let's take a look again. So this guy walking with these two girls in his arms. Apparently, this guy is uh, a little bit guilty, guys. So what we'll start by doing is reading a little bit more into what he's done. We'll have to brief it as usual. And then immediately, we're gonna try and get to processing the information and get this dude taken care of, all right? These streets gotta be nice and pristine, all right? And that goes for you too, Tanaha. You're roaming the streets free. 
Not for long. I saw this guy walking with these two girls with his arms around them, but not in a casual ladies man type of way that's relaxed. It was a more tight hold, like he didn't want them to get away from him. So I got close, said hello. He answered, then none of the girls responded. I turned around confused about what just happened. The girls looked back at me with this freaked out face. It only seemed to make them more angry as he pulled tighter and began walking faster down. There are plenty of guys that are overprotective of girlfriends, but a simple hello shouldn't be a blip in their overprotective radar, right? That's kind of weird. So this guy is probably doing some weird suspects. <laughs> I don't care guys, that means he's not coming in and that's all that matters. Yeah, these sort of pictures, so we're gonna use that one and definitely that one too. That's two suspect things. I might look at his search history, brutality, so you can see that there's lots of things wrong here. Let's do brutality videos. I think that should be a red flag, let me see. Good, it was, I was gonna say. All right, just check for Tanner 2. We do the usual spot check around the house. Guys, you've probably seen me do this like 10 times already. Is this getting boring? Like, I can cut past these parts if you want. Oh, no response? Fine, I'll include no, them every time God, we do it. Please. Your choice. All right, this followed up with a shred right here. The next one we have is Russell Hanchett. Uh, I think this one rings a bell. Even if it did, apparently he's innocent, guys, so we don't have to waste the time investigating him. So that's two shreds done. Let's check for Tanner in between these two. Don't see him in any cameras. Let's pull up the next one here. Tommy Hearn. My cousin Tommy's a little off, just a smidge. Good guy most of the time, but obsessed with hunting. I don't think I've ever seen the guy without wearing camo, nor have we had a conversation where shooting doesn't come up somehow. It's kind of someone you can only tolerate in small areas, and I mean that as nicely as possible. Another night, we were showing beers on the porch. I asked him to tell me a story, the freakiest thing that's happened to him or something. He's usually friendly, but I ask him that and he shuts down. He says something like, nah, man, you don't want to know. I put him a little, and at this point, anyone would be curious, a little more convinced, and he says that you run into more people out there than you'd think. What what that mean? You run into people... Uh, it sounds like he's talking about maybe he had to take someone out who was, like, up in his personal space. Tommy Hearn, we can see with the hunter's hat there, too. Let's get the IMEI, let's get cracking his phone. How to become better shot, shooting ranges, best hunting clothes, text convos, media wife. Hi, honey, everything okay after last week? Uh, person's at a hospital, no hurting after the sun goes down, don't worry. Oh, okay, so on that information alone, guys, I think maybe he must have shot someone, but it seems like everything went through okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go on a whim here. That was Tommy Hearn, that shred. So he accidentally shot someone, that was the issue. <laughs> Listen, man, when will that stop getting me, though? Again, we know we've detoured Tanner. Let's just check around this place one last time, and we're gonna get to shredding the paper instantly, guys. That would be if she was innocent, and it turns out she is, so we shred the paper, and that is, again, another night done. This is good success. Uh, don't get me? We see that save point, and we know we're good. Night four. Ah, no better feeling than starting the night off with ten papers to go through than a shred. Uh, can we get like eight or nine shreds, please? No, this lady's guilty as free, guys. This Friday, I heard the rumors that the lady who was responsible for seriously injuring a sixth grader, Blake Hannity, in a hit and run was Tanya. I heard that they got security footage that showed the license plates. Okay, I'm gonna go straight from that alone. Yo. You hear that car speeding? Was that Tanya right now? Westbrook Elementary. Uh, we're looking for anything slightly suspicious then. Okay, car decals, how to switch license plates, how to switch quickly, how fast. Does a car have to go before a crash is lethal? Well, fifth, oh yeah, that right there is a problem. How fast does a car, I feel like that straight away backs up the whole thing she's going for. That was incorrect? Are you crazy? What, was she innocent? I don't know, I have no idea. We gotta put it past us guys and move through. There you are, bud, go back. Yeah, retrace your steps, buddy. Make your way out the same way you got in. We'll do rounds on the house too. I feel like it's nice to catch Tanner before you commit to going around the house, but if he doesn't show up, it's still best to check the house than not at all. I heard a light go out right there. We'll uh, get this searching first of all. It was the main light. So the light kind of dink sound that you hear always signifies it's the light of the room that you're sitting in. And how this person does not know is I have no idea. Okay, Stacy. Yeah, we've done this one multiple times actually. Whoa, hold up. The kidnapper got in. That's the first time I know what I did wrong. I know exactly what I did wrong. When the light went out, all I did was I committed to check in one single spot. That was the problem. Hang on, so let me just see, guys. Now, there's something about this permadeath. I'm hoping it's a hoax, guys. This mode is literally permadeath. No, bro. I just literally got it. Guys, I just straight up let a guilty man roam free. And there's nothing I can ever do to change that back now. That actually sucks. That actually sucks. Well, gotta move on with it. Let me guess, jump scare inbound. Watch this, guys. I'm pretty I'm ready for it. Wait, no jump scare? Dang, alright. Well, thanks, Tanner. Alright, guys, this is actually going kind of well. Um, we're just processing. Did I just hear someone? Hold up. Let me check the cameras. I'm gonna back out a second. 
I did check the lights not long ago at all, but it just sounded like one of the window panes opened. I'm not sure if there is an actual sound key for that. Maybe that was my imagination. That is like 95% of this game though, imagination. And then when that 5% comes when it is actually the game doing it, you play it off as your imagination. You really can't win this situation. There's our man, get his uh, IMDB or SIMDB. <laughs> his I this fan ain't famous, bro! <laughs> Ways to burn a body. Should I cut a body up before burning it? Um, these are all bad. Like, every single one of these. <laughs> Can that stop, though? Like, that's insane how often that jump scare happens, man. Like, I'm numb to it now. Let's see pictures. <sighs> you think you're about to get away with this? <laughs> no. No, you're done. Everything could... Page that. Check cameras real quick, guys. Oh, he's there, though. Okay, we've sent Tanner back. <sighs> wow, I barely got to finish paging that information. I've heard a sound effect in the house, though that might have actually been for the camera when Tanner got over the fence. All of the lights are on in the rooms, guys, and the windows, they're all good. That is interesting. That must have been a sound effect relating to Tanner. All right, guys, we're done for the night. Hi. We've got two out of five wrong. If it seriously paged the burning body when it's incorrect, that doesn't make sense. Hold up. Don't get me. Okay. We've made it to night five on two mistakes. I'm not overly happy with that. I'm really not. But we are technically coming up to the halfway point, guys. Once we get this night done, then we're making good progress. This has honestly gone insane, though. I'm getting four pieces of evidence per, like, thing we submit. And every piece of evidence has to literally be really precise. It's got to make sense to that case specifically. Even if they're guilty and other things look suspect, they don't seem to care. Very strange balance in that, guys. Um, I'm finding this almost too difficult. I feel like what I might have to do is after I finish playing here, definitely do some revising. Uh, I know John Wolf recently did beat the game, and I was going to check out his video before recording, but I just want to take this thing down, man. And yeah, I'm kind of regretting that. I feel like I should have watched this episode. It took me 40 minutes to get to Nightfall first time, about 30 minutes the second time, and here we are now, guys, with two mistakes, and we're halfway through. It's not good. Wait, we had to page 10 last time. Now we only have to page 9 tonight. So the cases fluctuate. It's not always about going up. That's interesting. I thought it would go up more and more. My guess is that when we actually find the guilty cases, it's probably going to be a case of, like, the amount of information we have to compile is going to be more and more crazy. So I'm not looking forward to that. Can you stop accelerating, bro? I've also never really understood if the sound effects we hear where the occasional car goes past, if that indicates a window... What? Is he in? Oh my god, I'm actually nervous. He could be in at any moment. <sighs> that was crap. Like, for real, I just started the night, guys, and already that window was completely open. Like, did I check that room? I really can't remember. I'm really worried about that window being open. I'm really worried. Oh boy, I'm so sheepish, guys. The fact that this window was completely open and the light was off. Oh my gosh. I'm checking in between each case now. I'll file a case and I'm checking around the house even if it's an insta shred. I don't trust it. I might in between like each search as well check on Tanner. Like I checked him before I got up. I check on him now again. I just brace every time, man. It feels like we're always in danger. Well, I mean, we are. Okay, well, Amy's been hiding strange things in baked goods, and it's really not adding up right. It's kind of, uh, you know, suspect. Check these cameras again for Tanner. Don't see him yet, so we'll brief over this. I saw a couple of joggers I've never seen in this area before. Chatter to the driver for a minute, got some cuts of ice. Let the driver slip them both a small piece of paper. It looked like two joggers went in opposite directions. Found this odd, never thought anything of this. Okay, maybe the ice cream dude himself is the suspect in this one? Um, okay. Well, he's certainly got some interesting pictures in here. I think I heard a noise, guys. I think I heard like a footstep in my house. Hold up, check for Tanner. Always check for him before we check. Now go. Oh. Gosh, this feels so aggressive. I feel like it's the other dude. The one who's trying to break through the windows who won't give me a break tonight. I stopped Tanner like once, but that's it. And I'm literally getting nervous now. I get why this game mode is so intense. Like, this is a permadeath situation. <sighs> Damn it. You are kidding me. I, I gotta check for Tanner go first, guys. If he slips in, we're done. <laughs> that was a wise thing to check. Even though I literally just turtle-headed. Don't search that up, guys. I've said before. How cold do you need a box to keep meat from thawing? Uh... Yeah, you see, I think he... I don't know. Is that... That's not going to be right, is it? This... Yeah, this is too hard, guys. I really can't... I think I'm caught. The lights are out. I, I don't think I can really continue. I'm four out of five wrong already, and this is permadeath, guys. I... You actually see him at the window? What? Dude, that's crazy. Oh, are you in, buddy? I don't think he gets you now. 
Like, he's always tucked away in there. Listen, you go ahead and do your little closet dance thing, whatever you do, Tanner. I'm over it, okay? I'm four out of five cases down. I'm seeing that dude picking my locks. Tanner's in my house. This couldn't get much worse. You hear a footstep, guys? I already know I heard a footstep. Unless it's Tanner fidgeting in there, which... Yeah, we know you're in there, bud! Oh! He was picking the window again! Dang, that's crazy. Look, guys, the window's open. He actually made grounds with the window. Whoa. Normal mode isn't normal mode. Like, he's going crazy trying to break in. I think he really would have a better chance, though, of just literally getting his foot to my front door, kicking until it caves in, because he's coming through either way that way. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Are you... Why is it that I literally get four out of five shreds and then, like, this is how my game's about to end on me, guys? I'm progressing through the night, no mistakes. No way. This is so anticlimactic. Adam, you should add a feature, I think, to use your DOS coins to almost pay for the ability to have an extra shred or to have, like, an extra, like, issue. If you accidentally mess it up, like, I would save all the- Like, I got 75. I would pay to have more mistakes. One thing I don't get, guys, is how we treat Tanner past this point. He's in the closet. But I don't know if we can complete this successfully without having to worry. It's really hard to know. We're gonna page this anyway. Tanner's in the closet. This would be night six, but with four mistakes. It's too many, man. It's too many. Okay. We made it, though. We've made it to night six on normal mode as a first attempt. I've been recording for nearly two hours, guys. I'm not even kidding. This is crazy. I think if I do come back to this, like, if you guys respond well enough to this first part, what I might do is I'll just simply record this in my free time, maybe in the evening each time. Uh, I'll wait till I get to, like, night six or seven or something can progress from there. Because I really do want to see this game through to the end. It's just, <laughs> it's so difficult, man. It's killing me. Ah, Adam, your reasoning for making games difficult. I can't falter it, man. You get your money when you buy these games like the experience lasts a while but man is he still in here oh boy oh i thought he was in there for a second nine pages again so it seems like now it's more focused on getting all of the evidence it's for every single case did i just hear footsteps in my house wait did i did i just hit what the freak was that sound cue that was really strange um anything going on what the freak is happening, guys? This is night six. I'm freaking out. It feels like different almost for some reason. You hear that, guys? Let me check the cameras. I think that might be Tanner. Let's see. There he is. So, in the middle there. Okay, we've got him. Now, we've got to check for the other guy. Woo! Man, I can barely commentate, guys. Like... The element of concentration that you now have to put forward to get these cases done, it's a totally different way of playing the game, and I feel like it's necessary if you do actually want to progress. You know, it's kind of ironic, the moment I knuckle down and I really focus on just progressing through these nights, we start to notice a little pattern going on here, guys. I'm actually legitimately solving these cases slowly. Now that's disheartening, man. That is really painful. Ah, One mistake and I lose all my progress. Oh, man. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, guys. Uh, I've been recording for over two hours. This is what this game does to me, man. Like, I, I don't know if you guys know it's on the channel, but when I play Scrutinized, I usually take the day off after. It's not because I want to take a day off immediately after. It's that I literally spend hours recording this game, and the editing takes, like, three or four times longer. It's a commitment. But just like that, we've lost our progress. I legit have to start from night one. Um, I, I don't know if I can do this, guys. I'm being serious. Adam stated his reasonings behind it in a tweet, saying, like, he he doesn't want to be known for making easy games and this is just like proof of the pudding like he couldn't have put a tweet any more accurate when this happens on normal mode if you guys do want to see me continue again i will try my absolute hardest to progress i think what i'll do for the future episodes of scrutinize if there is going to be a next one is i'll play up to like night five and maybe past that point each time i'll then show the progression which could be as short as a couple of minutes before i get attacked i feel like it's the only way i can actually get this done uh, instead of being in like 100 percent video mode the whole time otherwise i'm not going to be uploading for weeks trying to beat this game and you know that can't happen either way though guys this has been scrutinized the normal difficulty it is a noticeable jump in how tricky things can get but that's the nature of the game man this is what we knew was gonna happen if you guys did enjoy this episode though why not drop me that like crate and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one stop staring at me you bold mother